Hey everybody, this is Stu from Ukulele Zen. Hope you're doing well. Today I want to answer a quick question and teach you a really cool musical effect that you can do with your left hand fingernails. This question was asked at the Ukulele Zen Patreon page. Thanks to everybody for all your support. Last week I put up a video teaching you the strum for Stand By Me, but also the solo. And that's the beautiful string solo that goes da, 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 da. And the thing is, is when you're playing a ukulele with only 12 frets, like I have right here, how do we get the high notes that are being asked of the tablature? I'm going to answer this and offer you a really cool technique. To help me show you this, I'm going to be uh, bringing out uh, from retirement the old ukulele peanut. I was gifted this beautiful 1960s ukulele by my friend Josh. It was in his family for a while. We were bandmates for many years, and my very first performances on ukulele were on this little thing. It's so lightweight. It's uh, where I started to... Uh, do my ukulele stunts. I used it on the record Stukulele, and you can see Peanut right up there floating in the air. Peanut has never hit the ground, even though I toss him up very high in the air sometimes. This ukulele Peanut is special to me. It has a very interesting sound because of the bowed back. It's hard to see because of these grip strips I put on it. I put them on so it wouldn't slip off the suits I used to wear back in the day when I would perform. Um, at the end of the video, I'll play a quick little ditty on this instrument for you. So how do you get those high notes? Now, the, what I'm doing there is I am using the fingernail, and this is a technique that's been used for thousands of years on an instrument called the sarod. The sarod predates the sitar. I highly recommend listening to some rag on sarod. It's an absolutely hypnotic and beautiful instrument. And um, a sarod is a fretless instrument where instead of pressing down the strings with the flesh, you uh, connect with the string with the fingernail. So this has a lot of cool implications for what you can do on the strings. It's an extra musical effect and in the process you'll also learn a lot about how to relax your hand. Let's get into it right now. To start, uh, let's get up here at the 12th fret and you'll notice, just pluck that note once. You'll notice, yes, you're just using the flesh of the finger. You can see where the finger is dented. And uh, right now, fret the note using the fingernail. And only press just a little bit. You don't have to touch very hard. Now, before we even extend the range, you'll notice that the fingernail will slide down the strings much easier, and it lets you do these interesting glissando effects. So just by using the fingernail, you can get a lot of speed with your glissandos. It's an interesting effect. And um, way back in the day, I used to do this on my electric guitar, copying what Carlos Santana would do. So it's an interesting effect. You can uh, get those really high notes, make the dogs next door bark. Now, um, you can use this in a more precise way with a little bit of training. So let's go back to the 12th fret. Fret with the fingernail and what we're going to do is we're going to imagine where would the 13th fret be. So you're going to visualize that then move the fingernail there and here is the important part. Don't push down too hard. You just rest the nail there and right there I'm getting a high B flat. There's A at the 12th fret. B flat would be at your 13th fret but it's an imaginary fret I've created. created a fret there. Eventually you can start to get really good at guesstimating the distances. It is helpful if you don't push down though because if you're pushing down, watch what happens. I'll keep my finger in the same place and if I push down, I'm making the note higher. I'm sharpening the note. So make sure that you just touch ever so lightly 
And as I said in the earlier, this will train your fingers to be very light. Now, this is not just noise making here. If you uh, get comfortable with where the notes are, So when you're at that moment of a uh, stand by me and you're playing the high notes, you can practice this. So it's just an interesting little technique. I thought it might help to answer your question, but also offer an interesting extra musical effect. You can also do this with two fingers at once and make all kinds of interesting sounds. And uh, if you hold them in the same place, you do this. Starts to sound like an agogo bell. So there you have it, just a little extra musical effect. I like to use it as glissando. Makes your slides really smooth and exotic sounding. You can also, like I showed you before, make your own frets. The ancient ukulele peanut coming out of retirement for this special video. If you dig this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hope you'll click the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and please share this video with your friends on social media. Really appreciate your support on Patreon. From the bottom of my heart, it means so much to me. Thank you so much, and I hope to see you in the next video. Here we go. My love for you is like the square root of two that's a nerdy way to flirt but it's true as if you write that number straight out until the umteen decimal place you notice that it don't repeat and it never terminates my affection's never ending every day is new my love is like the square root of two written as a decimal 11